Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the definition of continuity and how a graph can fail that definition in three different ways. So first off, when defining continuity, if I have the function y equals f of x, that function is continuous at x equals c if three conditions are met. The first thing that needs to happen is f of c needs to exist. The second thing that needs to happen is the limit as x approaches c of f of x needs to exist. And the third thing is that the limit as x approaches c of f of x needs to equal f of c. So the limit has to equal where the function is defined at that x value. So each of these three conditions can fail in separate ways when looking at a graph. So if we look at that first condition, f of c does not exist. That just means that in your graph, the graph is traveling along and somewhere along that graph there might be a hole, right? So that means that at that x value c, the value of the function does not exist. Another graph in which f of c does not exist is if you have a vertical asymptote somewhere. So say you have a function shooting down over here with a vertical asymptote shooting up over here. And if this is your c value, then that means that there's no f of c value, right? C is undefined at that point. So there's two types of discontinuities that can happen when f of c does not exist a removable discontinuity or a hole, or a vertical asymptote. The second part of the continuity definition says the limit as x approaches c of f of x must exist. So if the limit as x approaches c of f of x does not exist, that means the function would not be continuous. Graphically, that looks like this. If I have a vertical asymptote at x equals c, in which as I approach c from the left, my function approaches negative infinity, and when I approach x equals c from the right, my function approaches positive infinity. Since the limit as x approaches c does not exist, this function is not continuous at x equals c. The other way that a function can fail part two of the definition is with a jump discontinuity, where at x equals c, the function jumps from one y value to another. So as I can see, the limit as x approaches c from the left here is this y value. And the limit as x approaches c from the right is this higher y value. So that means that the limit as x approaches c does not exist, and this function is not continuous at x equals c. The third part of the continuity definition says that the limit as x approaches c of f of x must equal f of c. So the limit at c has to equal the value of the function at x equals c. There is only one way graphically that this can happen, and it looks something like this. So if I have a function where the limit as x approaches c exists, so I can see from the left and from the right, my function's going to the same spot. So the limit as x approaches c does exist, and f of c does exist. It's just defined up here. However, that limit and the actual value of the function are not equal to each other. So that means that this function is not continuous, and it is failing at this spot of the definition, that third piece. That's it for a brief definition of continuity and how it can fail graphically. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like a copy of this worksheet, please feel free to send us an email. I'll leave that email in the description below. Hope you guys have a great day.